Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 2nd, 2024. Well, we had quite a wild day yesterday. Um, how about we take a look at what happened overnight, and then maybe I can help um, explain what happened there if um, you're uncertain about what transpired here on the day. First off, if we take a look at um, our markets here this morning, well, we've got um, Asian markets that were mixed last night and mostly pretty flat, not much happening in there, just really um, small up and downside moves, except for Hong Kong. Hong Kong surged up 390 points or 2.36% last night, where everything else was relatively flat um, in the market. If we take a look at European markets, European markets are also trying to edge higher here. We've got uh, the DAX just a little bit lower, FTSE and CAC just a little bit higher this morning, trying to get a little bit going here in the pre-market. And then um, US futures are looking um, slightly lower here this morning with the Dow uh, being down uh, 0.32%, another 129 points at the moment. But remember, this is very, very early. And um, S&P and NASDAQ also just a bit lower here this morning. Now, if we take a look at our bonds, our bonds continue to be um, a bit of a problem for us here. The two-year bond really surged up yesterday, jumping up to 4.71%. Uh, that's where we stand this morning. The 10-year bonds are at 4.35%. That's more than 10 basis higher um, in one day. And then our 30-year bonds up to 4.48 this morning with the 30-year bonds continuing to tick a little bit higher this morning. And then if we were to... Um, um, trying to decipher what in the world happened there. Well, we had some numbers yesterday on the ISM. ISM numbers showed probably a couple of things occurring there. First off, it really did kind of indicate that the market, that traders have been overly optimistic on inflation, that the Fed was going to be cutting very, very soon. And these numbers really kind of put a cap on that really quick. Um, we had the ISM, um, uh, the paid component, prices paid component in the ISM data rose 3.3 points to 55.8%. Uh, now what that means is a significant rise in the cost paid by producers or um, uh, raw materials, things like that, to, to make products here in the United States. And so that really raised some concern here in the market, so showing that, well, producers are having to pay so much more, and that means there's likely going to be higher prices coming to the consumer as well. So we'll want to keep an eye on that, and that created a pretty substantial um, sell-off in the bond market. I, it was hard, uh, hardcore. Um, so we, we really saw those bond yields expanding yesterday and they're trying to show just a little bit of concern on that as well today. Now the other thing that kind of piled on was uh, Fed member Waller came out and said they're in no rush to be raising or to be uh, lowering interest rates. And then of course, we know what resulted on the day. So a little bit of pressure there. there. Now, if we look on further here this morning, well, we have maybe another pressure building here um, with the strong manufacturing data. It's surging oil prices this morning. We've got oil up 1.58 um a dollar 58 or uh, an 85 29 85 30 a barrel just ticked up to 85 30 a barrel brent is up a dollar 52 at 88 94 a barrel creating those higher gas prices at the pump 
And that is a big calculation into the numbers for inflation. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Natural gas is just less than a penny uh, lower here this morning. So we have some trouble here. And I'll tell you, if it wasn't for big tech yesterday, it would have been a lot worse. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to shake off our bias and we don't want to panic here um, at all. Um, one of the things that the market has been here lately is far too reactionary. We're just zooming. Either we're um, all running in in a fear of missing out or we're racing out in a, uh, a run for the run for the door move um, before the fire catches us. And we need to settle down here a little bit and really focus in on the charts. And so doing that, let's take a look at what the charts are, not, not what we want them to be. And if you remember yesterday, I said with that gap up open that we were facing, that there was that opportunity that we could whipsaw. Now, I didn't know that we were going to have um, data um, such as we did that um, really added to the pressure of any selling here overall. But if you'll take a look, we ended up with kind of a double top pattern here in the diamonds. And if you look right here, this is a nasty looking evening star pattern in the chart. So the question is going to be, what is the follow through today? Right now, this doesn't really mean all that much unless we get a follow through that would continue to confirm um, that bearish uh, pattern in the market. So looking at this level of price support here, if the bears were to find that inspiration today and push on down to test this level of price support, if we hold there, we're probably pretty good shape. We can still hang in there and hopefully try to shrug off this um, this data, see those bond yields ease up a little bit, and then we um, hold this area of price support for that potential bounce to the upside. But if those bears were able to push this on through this area, that would likely create a little bit of concern in the market. You'd see we'd be giving up this trend, giving up a very big level of price support um, in the chart and would probably really start to change a little bit of sentiment in the market for at least a short term. Now, if they were to push down through there, you'll notice there are some areas in here that we could catch some support in that chart um, before we sank all the way back down into this next level of uh, the diamonds. But if those bears really decided to get active for um, and those bond yields continue to um, show pressure in the market, then um, there is that possibility that that could occur at this point. Now, if the bulls were to find inspiration today, and that's certainly possible if those bond yields were to ease up, if we get something from a, the Fed members today in their conversation, um, that it's not as bad as it looks, kind of thing. Well, we could hold in this area and begin to bounce back up. Now, one thing we'll have to be thinking about in that bounce back up, what we need to do is we need to come back up about halfway through that candle to maybe reverse that uh, bearish pattern here in the chart. So we need to see those bulls push on through that area, breaking through some of that resistance right in here. And if we can close up in there and break that trend back to the upside, well, we may be, um, and this may just be some volatility that we've seen in the market. And then we would push on through and maybe retest these highs again, and then that possible breakout in the charts. Let's take a look at our SPY. 
Now, SPY did a really good job of holding on yesterday. Um, although it ended up finish, uh, finishing up the day with a bearish engulfing candle and again a bit of a morning star type pattern here. Um, Big Tech did its job yesterday and, and, and it literally was um, you know a handful of stocks that kept the indexes from falling and it was all tech um, keeping that up and it was again just a very small number of stocks if we look across here we ran into that little uh, double top high and again that little evening star type pattern showing up in here so it really is going to matter what the follow-through is on this more than anything else but i gotta tell you I got to give this to the bulls at the moment because even though they were pushing down, Big Tech did enough work that it held the support levels and held this trend in here. So if the bulls can find inspiration today and hold in this area and not really follow through hard to the downside, there's every reason to believe that we could bounce this right back up and be pushing all time highs here in the chart. Um, by midweek, I think, um, if the, we can follow through uh, to the upside. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration and we were to push this on lower, testing this area right here in this trend would be okay to just test that if we hold. If we break down through there, then we're going to start pushing down into these levels of the chart and probably raising some fear in the market along the way, some concern. So watch that carefully here. Um, if we continue to see those bond yields going up, that concern that um, the traders have way overpriced this market uh, based on the situation where inflation could stay um, way more persistent and, uh, for a period of time, uh, that's that's going to be the issue and the question that everyone's going to be asking right now. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ was the area where we saw the most energy yesterday pushing on up. But you can see here, even in the QQQ, the vast majority of QQQ was selling yesterday, despite the fact that we had that handful of stocks trying to hold us up. Now, if you take a look, we've got a little bit of a shooting star pattern here. And once again, we slipped back below this area. We've been struggling in this area of consolidation. So the question today is, will there be enough in data that provides that bullish inspiration that we can hold this little area of consolidation of support and push back up off of there, breaking back through that resistance in the chart? If there is, we're in great shape. The bulls will still be very much in control. Nothing to particularly worry about. If we can push back up through there, and it may even lead us on to pushing on through to new record highs. But if those bears um, were able to push us back down through this little area of price support, breaking that upside trend, and we start coming down and testing some of these support levels in the chart, that's where we're going to raise a little bit of fear in the market and we could really see a lot of people um, running for the door um, all at the same time to protect their profits just get out of the way sell 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 and that pushes us on down changing that sentiment in the market so keep a close eye on that on the qqq now let's take a look at our russell this was an unfortunate situation for the russell where we had broken through that major area of resistance up here and i said what was going to be critical is whether or not we could hold up there well we ended up not doing that um, shooting star bearish engulfing pattern pushing us back down here in that chart breaking back below this price level so if the bulls can find some help here some inspiration in the market we need to see that push right back up and reclaim that area because if we don't reclaim that area and we do follow through to the downside then we've got um, uh, bigger worries here um, in this chart but right now, if the bulls can reclaim this area, pushing back up, we might be just fine. And then we start working through to see if we can break back out here 
on that chart. Failing here, as you can see, we're doing right now in the pre-market, pushing a little bit lower here, could raise a little bit of concern on this idea of rotation and things and everybody just piles back into a handful of big tech. Um, so watch that carefully here. If we push down into this little level and hold, we might still be okay for a relief bounce. But just keeping in mind, if we were to fall through there and we start coming down into areas like this in the chart, that's where we're going to really start um, showing com some concern here and that possibility that we can slip all the way back down into this bigger area of price support. And that would be that possible rejection here of that um, nice breakout that we were starting to see in the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX gapped up yesterday. Now what's interesting is we didn't get that ISM number until um, you know uh, 10 a.m. and um, Eastern time, which was well after we started selling off strongly yesterday. So we were getting a little bit in that even in the pre-market we were getting a pretty substantial sell-off before we headed into that number, which would really kind of suggest somebody knew what the numbers were or we were maybe getting that volatility um, change that I was suggesting when we gap up big in the morning to new highs sometimes we get that reversal that comes in but that being said we really popped up here and we faded that back a little bit here on the day if I change this over here to this drawing this is going to be what we're going to be watching here today so first off we broke back above this um, this trend break that we pushed down through and said, nah, we're not worried about this at, at all in the market, no fear. And then we also broke this trend. We've got a little bit of price support in here and you can see that fade right at the end of the day, tried to take some of that back and say, no, we're not worried, no, we're not worried, no, we're not worried. But this morning we're seeing those bond yields hold up and even seeing the 30 year bond tick just a tiny bit higher. So the question is, if that continues, will that fear resume here and possibly push us back higher? Or will we shake this off and kind of come back down and fill this gap? I think anything is possible here today. And we've got some Fed members over the next couple of days that are going to be talking. And it really is, I think, going to depend what the emotion of the market is going to be, how those Fed members respond to this data, and what they say about rates moving forward. If we take a look at our um, uh, T20s here, our T2122, well, kind of as expected yesterday, I suggested we didn't have a whole lot of upside move in T2122 available to us, and we did pull back here. But if you look at that, I don't see anything major problem here um, in that chart. Yeah, definitely we had some fear coming up in the market, but not so much as to you know suggest we should be really, really concerned just yet. Again, it's gonna be the follow through. So if we have bulls find inspiration today in the data, then maybe we push back up in here and we're retesting. We might get a little bit of a relief bounce kind of a thing back to the upside. If the bears, however, were to follow through to the downside and maybe breaking this trend, well, this is where we could really accelerate some selling if we start breaking some of those support levels. And you'll see a lot more folks, you know, kind of give up their hand um, selling to protect uh, their capital. And we could push down rather sharply here in the market. Now, I'm not suggesting we're going to push all the way down there, just showing that the, the space that we have for a downside move is substantial. And then if we take a look, in, and remember, I keep saying this over and over and over, if the selling starts, look for some big point moves. That definitely displays that pretty clearly um, as well. If we take a look at our T2108, now our T2108 pulled back yesterday, but here again, I don't see this as a major problem here. Um, we've got certainly a little fear, some concern came into the market, but 
it's going to matter whether or not we follow through to the downside. Um, we found a little bit of price resistance in here, but we're still holding on to that trend. And there is price resistance levels below that could easily hold us. But a push down here, a good follow through to the downside that breaks that upside trend might raise some concern in the market, might raise a little bit of fear. But for now, try not to panic here. This could be a one-off move, could end up whipsawing it, you don't know. So try not to, you know, just be in full-on panic mode um, here in the market. T2107, I'm gonna say the same thing, pulling back, but boy, there's nothing wrong with that, other than we are kind of overextended. Um, we we are reaching that very frothy level here in the market, very extended in this move. But if you notice right in here, trend didn't break, nothing wrong in there. And we have support down below, so we could even get some more selling here and not really hurt um, T2107 and that possible rotation that is showing up here in the market. So watch that carefully. But if we were to continue to get that follow through to the downside, that's where things can get a little bit spooky here and may change sentiment just a bit in the market. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 continues to show us that hook here in the market. There for a period of time yesterday, we were actually turned up on T2101, but unfortunately that was on the selling wave. We had a little bit of breadth increase in selling. We're still showing that hook over here, so it's going to be important. If the bulls respond back, we don't wanna see the bulls responding back and have this breadth pushing down. Um, showing us that lack of enthusiasm uh, for that upside move. So keep an eye on, on that. If we were to see more selling in that breadth turn higher on, on that sell wave, that's where um, that sentiment change happens and we could really get um, that rush to the door to close out positions and um, that could change some of that sentiment in the market. Let's take a look at our <clears throat> um, economic calendar here for today because we do have a few worries to be thinking about here on that economic calendar. I didn't have this size, so give me just a second to size this up so we can see everything. Um, if you take a look, um, here on our economic calendar, kind of a light day. We're gonna get factory orders here this morning. Um, factory orders looking for a 0.1. It was a negative 3.6 last time. So keep an eye on that. If we were to see um, maybe this moving higher, again, could show us um, a little bit of heat um, in the market that we're not um, slowing down on that inflation. So watch that carefully. We're going to get a job openings report this morning. And unfortunately, job openings report consensus is suggesting that our job openings expanded. Um, well, kind of stayed the same, I should say. Kind of stayed the same here. But watch that carefully. One of the things the Fed wants to see is that we're getting some balance back in the job market and um, we haven't been getting a whole lot of change in uh, jobless um, numbers here. So we'll wanna be watching uh, these numbers carefully with particularly now with this upset uh, that the market is feeling. And then probably the worst of the day could come. It all depends on how these Fed members, we've got Bauman speaking today, We've got Williams, we've got Mester, and we've got Daly. And if they start piling on to this idea that, hey, we're, we're a long ways from cutting rates, um, or we're a no rush to cut rates, we could see that actually increase those bond yields, stretching them out further and raising concerns that there may not be a cut and that the market has um, really um, overestimated um, the Fed's willingness to cut rates. So watch those carefully uh, today. Now, as we move into Wednesday, 
We've got another bunch of FedSpeak in here, but we're going to get mortgage applications, ADP numbers. Watch that carefully. We've got um, PMI Composite Final, ISM Services numbers coming in here, and then we've got a Petroleum Status number along with Bauman, <coughs> Goolsby, Jerome Powell, Barr, and uh, Kugler. So we're going to have a lot of Fed talk here over the next couple of days. So and just be prepared for some volatility. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today. And our earnings calendar, you know, this time of year is pretty light, but I do have a couple here for today that we'll want to be paying attention to. First this morning, PAYX will be reporting. Looks like they're moving just a little bit lower here in the pre-market, running into this resistance, um, <clears throat> struggling here just a little bit after their report. That really is the only notable here for this morning. This afternoon, we're going to see um, um, uh, Calmarine Foods here. They will be reporting this afternoon. Keep an eye on that. And then Dave and Buster's will be this afternoon. So watch that carefully. And Dave and Buster's is trying to work a breakout heading into their earnings report. So watch that carefully this afternoon. Um, and that's kind of it uh, for the notables uh, for today. So how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, that would be click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much who takes the for everyone who takes the time to do that. As you know, I do try to answer most of those um, um, every single day because they it, it is important to me and um, um, I want to answer questions and things like that. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. Uh, means a lot to me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. Remember, um, these are not recommendations to buy or sell anything. As a matter of fact, um, what I want you to do is be a really careful right now. Do your do own due diligence, follow your trading rules and your risk tolerance rules in your trading plan. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. So with that, let's take a look at a couple things. First off, one of the things we've got to look at that really surged yesterday is Google. Google showing a big upside move here and working a potential breakout here um, in the chart. So you can see trying to pop up through all of this resistance and break on out. Now you might look at this. Um, I kind of view this as kind of a V bottom, but I've actually heard people describe this as a cup and handle pattern. So you can see this right in here and there's your handle and popping on through to the upside. So keep an eye on that if you um, are into the big tech and, and don't mind some of these prices, then watch Google for that potential move to the upside. They did settle a case, but um, I do wonder, um, their settling of the case says they're going to destroy all browser data. That's a big, that is a big uh, deal. Um, and not too many people are talking about it. Destroying all browser data means they don't have the ability to use that for advertising. That's been one of their big selling points for a long, long time. So it'll be interesting to see how that will work. And it'll be interesting to see how this affects other browsing um, uh, companies like Microsoft and things like that. Will that become the trend uh, to avoid you know, Fed scrutiny? watch that carefully on this privacy um, um, work that, that the Fed is pushing on all of these um, tech giants and social media. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at a few other places. Um, although we tried to get something going yesterday in AMD and break this resistance to the upside, just couldn't hang in there. Um, popped and pulled back. Um, I think this might still be worth keeping an eye on. We've slipped out from underneath this trend. If we can hold up in here and get that 
push to the upside, you may want to be watching there. Unfortunately, um, Apple didn't have a very good day yesterday, and I would watch carefully here. I think Apple is set up short. If Apple were to drop down through this little area of support coming into this low test area, um, falling through there, however, boy, we've got a big hole, um, and a hole that could drop um, Apple all the way down into here. So watch that carefully here. Apple is not looking uh, very bullish at the moment. Um, so watch, watch for a possible sell-off here if um, if we fall through some of those support levels. Let's take a look at a couple other places. Um, Qualcomm was trying to make um, something happen here yesterday, and I set a price alert popped in there um, early on in the day. We had that little fade that was going on that affected it for a while, but it ended up resuming. So keep an eye on Qualcomm. Nice little bullish pattern setting up in here and that opportunity that we could use this as the higher low and push on through to the upside in Qualcomm. Of course, MU was also one of the big winners yesterday, really pushing strongly in this chart, pushing um, sharply up. Now, the one thing I am concerned about is we, we, and here's where that chase is going on here in the market again, that we're getting so extended in these moves that these charts are so parabolic and nobody seems to worry about the fact that we're going straight up. And when we start doing that, and we go straight up in the market with that super, super confidence. It's when we can get that real big heart attack that comes in a stock and it pulls back hard and fast. So this is really reminiscent of the tech bubble, the dot-com bubble in 1999, where no one cared at all. Just drive it higher, drive it higher, drive it higher. And then all of a sudden, it comes down and it comes down hard. So don't be the last one in the door here is what I'm saying um, on a trade like that. That's the last thing that you want to be as we continue to make a lot of these charts so parabolic in their moves. Now, other places I would really be keeping an eye here on energy. Um, kind of thought energy was probably reaching um, a bit of a crescendo here, but those numbers yesterday uh, pushing energy higher here this morning were breaking out here on XLE. So you'll, if I go to a, a weekly, we still have some highs up here that we can um, we could uh, attack. So we could come all the way up into this area, up around 100 um on xle but i would look for some kind of a rest or pullback in here at some point in time but boy if you start looking through some of those energy stocks there are a lot of them looking very very good so because i went into such a long explanation this morning um, i'm running this video a little bit long so i better cut this off and i want to wish you all a fantastic day here be a little bit careful there could be a little bit of uncertainty here in the market market i wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of choppiness um, we're really going to have to focus in on what those fed members are saying now because this uncertainty has crept up strongly and keep a close eye on those bond yields if they continue to stretch higher here on those bond yields that could really start adding lots and lots of pressure to the market uh, downside pressure by the way so y'all take care be safe have a wonderful day and i'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning wish you all the very very best